What is up everybody? Benjamin from Retro Marmot Pops here. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. Now, I am at the mall again, and the reason I'm here is to look for that dark Leonardo pop that I was looking for last week. It wasn't here that time, and honestly, I don't even know if it's hit stores yet, but I'm going to go in and see if it's there at uh, FYE, and I'm also going to take a look at the other stores and see what other cool things they have. So let's go take a look. Hopefully, we find something sweet. All right, because I was looking for that Leonardo, I went straight to FYE first, and as you can see right here, they didn't have it. It's kind of interesting. I, I feel like I've seen in the past that Funko will put something on their website and right around that same time, the shops that it's exclusive to will start to get it as well. So I thought that'd be the case here, but it looks like not yet. Hopefully soon it will be hitting stores. Anyway, I found this Matt Murdock and I thought it was funny. They actually put the details of the brick on there from uh, No Way Home, which was pretty cool. Then uh, this Melodious Pop, uh, pretty sweet as well. And now Box Lunch, they actually had a decent amount of new stuff that I thought was uh, worth showing to everybody, like this uh, Spider-Man comic cover. I know that one's new. I really love how they did the web there. I think that looks really cool. And Amy, that's the first time we've ever got this character in pop form, so that's pretty awesome. I remember playing a game as a kid that had her in it, and I always thought that was pretty cool. And uh, here's Metal Sonic. I know a ton of people were really excited about this one. And honestly, I can see why. The detail on it's really cool. And it's just a cool character all around. Now, of course, Dr. Eggman. Uh, if you're talking about Sonic, you got to mention him. It's pretty cool they have that one as well. And here's some Disney. Um, believe it or not, I have actually never seen the movie Bambi. I don't know if I ever will. We'll see. Maybe one day when I have kids. I don't know. Uh, Hot Topic was next. And... They did have a couple of things that were worth noting. So here's their section. You're probably already seeing the thing that I thought was the coolest. But uh, here's this Demon Slayer pop. I didn't pick this up because they didn't have the chase. And that's what I'm looking for. Hopefully I can find that sometime soon. That would be really sweet. Uh, but here's Kermit and Constantine 2-pack. That's a really cool one. And tons of people were really excited about it. So cool to see it finally hit stores. The next day. I'm actually going to go back to the mall. So... I'm meeting some friends tonight in this general area. I'm just looking for excuses to go back to the mall to look at the pops. <laughs> because there's one pop in particular that I uh, actually wish I picked up. So it's funny because I went into that store and I actually filmed a short there rather than stuff for long, long form content. So I didn't get any footage, but there was a pop in one of the stores that I just, I was looking back at the footage and I was like, you know what, why didn't I get that? So. Uh, something I really want for my collection. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get it. Hopefully it's still there. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay, I just made a purchase. <laughs> I did it. I gotta stop buying these things. I'm going broke. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> All right, what's up guys? I just pulled up to the Provo Town Center Mall. I noticed that the parking lot is like ridiculously full. This mall is usually like a ghost town. And as I was driving through, I think I saw some people in some like cosplay or something. So I think there's like some sort of an event going on, uh, which bodes poorly for finding good pops today, I guess, if there's a lot of people in there. But uh, I'm gonna go in anyway, and we'll see what we can find. Like I said, this is the last stop of the video. Let's go see what we find, and hopefully everything is not picked over and it's not totally crazy in there. I don't really know. Let's go see. They ask you how you are, and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Okay, this next place is easily one of my favorite pop stores in the world. Actually, it's not really a pop store, it's just a collectible store, like toys and stuff, um, and that is Platinum Toys. I've made a video on it in the past, which I will put down in the description. Definitely worth watching because this place is amazing. So let's go check it out. So right when you walk into the store on the left, they have this display here. And this is really cool. Tons of, of uh, Coco Pops. I love that movie. I don't know about you guys, but I think that's one of the best animated movies ever made. So that was really cool to see. Plus they had some slightly more rare ones. So awesome all around. And here's their main section. Just this wall of tons of different types. I always love this Yuji Itadori Pop whenever I see it. I think it's really cool. And it's also a really cool moment in the show. So really awesome they had that. Then there's this weird owl pop, which I've always kind of appreciated as well. I saw that movie with Daniel Radcliffe and it had me laughing and just scratching my head the entire time because it was so bizarre. 
But uh, I guess that's the name of the show, so makes sense. Then they had this uh, Thor from Ragnarok, uh, Spider-Man, that uh, Funko Shop exclusive, Scarlet Spider with the Walmart sticker is cool. I've said this before, but anytime I see a Walmart sticker on a pop, I'm amazed because I don't even know if Walmart actually makes new pops or at least gets new pops, I should say, anymore. So it's pretty cool to see that. Here's their uh, section. They have this like, they have this little like closet section almost and they keep a ton of pops in there, which is awesome. Found another Coco Pop. This is the uh, Dante, which just, again, just so cool. I mean, the color on that, just great. Here's their chase wall. Now, tons of really cool things here and I'm seeing something right there that just got me really excited and here it is, uh, Splinter Chase Soda. So cool, I really wanted to get this but I was unable to get it before, it just, it sold out on the shop so really cool to see it. All right, what's up everybody? Back from the hunt and as you can see, I am in my little makeshift set here. <laughs> Uh, the leak that we found in our apartment last week is, um, well, it's still being repaired right now. So my normal set, wow, it's in shambles. Let's just put it that way. So right now I'm sitting in my kitchen with this makeshift, I don't even know, this is a piece of plywood from like the construction, I think. And then this is just a frame from our normal table turned on its side. So this is a whole thing right now. <laughs> Plus this is like a portion of my collection. The rest of it is like in one of these shelves up here, that one right there above the sink. So it's been a whole thing, but you know what? The show must go on. So anyway, let's get into it. I did pick some things up in my hunt today. I got two things to show right here and I'm excited about them. They're both chases, which is pretty cool. So first one, let me say this. I didn't actually show this store in the video. And the reason for that is because when I went in there, I decided I was gonna film a, a short there. So if you wanna see the pops I saw in this uh, store, which it's a really cool store, and I did see some really cool things in there, go ahead and check out my shorts. Um, I'll actually link that one down below and you can go ahead and just watch it right now. But anyway, this is the pop that I saw, um, came home and the next day I was like, I wanna go back and get that. So I did, and here it is. This is one I've wanted for my collection for quite a while. That is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Star-Lord Chase. Anyway, this era of movies from Marvel was fantastic. I think uh, Volume 2 was just a great movie. I, honestly, that's one of the only ones that has been like 100% across the board, Guardians of the Galaxy. They went, they went three for three, in my opinion. All of those movies are great. But anyway, I got this for a pretty good deal. Uh, they priced it at like $23, which I feel like is pretty good for this chase. So. I've wanted it for a while and I decided to pick it up. So there you go, it's in my collection now and I am stoked on it, Peter Quill. Um, the chase is obviously him with the mask. Common is just this right here, he has no mask. So it's a really cool one. Okay, now the second one I'm really excited about because if you've seen in my previous videos, one of them, I recently opened up a bunch of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem sodas and the only one that I wanted, at least, that I couldn't get was Splinter. And that sold out super fast, wasn't able to get it. And so I walked into, like, legitimately my favorite pop store, I think, um, which is called Platinum Toys. Uh, they're just awesome people, really cool. They always have awesome inventory. Uh, one of the guys who helps runs the store or helps run the store is just, like, I think he's a major collector and so he really knows his stuff and he always finds cool things. So I was looking around in the store and I found this right here. Oops, geez, I open the <laughs> Splinter, which they did tell me is the chase. Um, I'm gonna pop this open right now and you can see the bag is sealed. Actually, no, it is not. <laughs> I just realized it's not. I thought it was a sealed bag, but <clears throat> what they do have here is the pog saying, you found the chase, that colored splinter, pretty cool. But <laughs> legitimately, I didn't know this was unsealed until this moment. I opened it in the store and I guess I didn't look close enough at the bag. Anyway, let's take a look at this. So this chase, if you don't know, I'm gonna put this bag down here. If you don't know, this chase is fantastic. It's actually splinter with, if I can get it off, I will show you. Wow, what is that caught on? T -t -t Today, Junior! Oh my gosh, it was caught on his belt. So Splinter with Baby Mikey, which is such a great chase. You can see here the common I'll show. It's just him pointing. 
normal hands, but the chase, he's holding little baby Mikey. And I don't know who came up with that idea at Funko, but give that person a raise because this is fantastic. <laughs> if you collect turtles like I do, you need to have this. So I saw this and I thought to myself, first off, I couldn't even find it uh, on the Funko app. It sold out so fast. And outside of that, it's a Target exclusive. And I've been going to Target recently quite a bit. Haven't seen any sign of it whatsoever. And so I just figured, you know, when am I going to see this again? This is perfect. So I picked it up. And actually, the guys there are really cool. They gave me a discount on this, which thank you so much, Platinum Toys, for doing that. You guys are awesome. Seriously, anybody, if you're in like the Utah County area and you have the chance to go to Platinum Toys in South Provo, please do it. That place is awesome. They are so cool. They are passionate about their craft and they have an awesome store. So thank you again, guys, for giving me the discount and for this awesome pop. Um, I'm really excited about it. Yep, you found the Chase Splinter with Mikey. Okay, so there are the Chases I picked up today. Now, don't forget to go ahead down below, leave a comment and let me know what things you're collecting right now, whether that is Funko Pop, Lego, cards of any kind. Just let me know what you like to collect. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe down below. I would love to have you join the channel. If you haven't noticed, the channel is very close to 1,000 subscribers, which has been my goal for quite a while. So it's amazing to see the channel grow to that level. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would really love your support in reaching that goal. I love creating content and getting all those subscriptions really helps me put better content out. So thank you so much for viewing in once again, and I will catch you on the next one. Viewing in. Tuning in. I don't even know. I don't know. Catch you on the next one.